Hello, good day. Uh, maybe you have asked yourself, this Christmas 2015, what's going to be the greatest gift that I can receive? Or what's the greatest gift that I can give to my loved ones? My dear friends, let me give you an answer. And that answer is going to be taken from the scripture in the book of John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have an everlasting life. My dear friends, brothers and sisters in Christ, the greatest gift is given unto us already. Amen. And why it's the greatest? Because the giver is the Father, is the God the Father. He is the giver of life. He is the Father of all. No matter what religion you are, no matter what race you came from, no matter what color you are, God loves you. God loves you. That's why God wants us to be with Him again. And we cannot be in Him again except through the Son, Jesus. Now let me read you again this in Acts chapter 4 verse 12. Acts chapter 4 verse 12 that says, Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. My dear friends, every Christmas, every Christmas, we are celebrating the birth of, of our Lord Jesus, the fulfillment of the scripture, especially what is written in John chapter 1, that the word become flesh and dwells amongst us. And that word is God. Amen. It's God. And let, let, let me tell you this, that his name is Jesus. On Christmas time, we are celebrating the birth of our Lord Jesus. He is the Messiah. He is the Lord. He is our Savior. He is our Redeemer. And He is the great healer. Amen. He is the great healer. Now, now the, the, the problem right now is if you go around the world and meditate what kind of celebration do we have during Christmas, it saddened me because, because almost all of us are celebrating Christmas but the, the problem is the celebrant is not invited. Let me ask you this. If it's your birthday or somebody else's birthday, we want, if we do the birthday for party celebration, we want to be the birthday celebrant, to be the main man, to be the center of attraction. Amen? That's what we want. But on Christmas time, we must remember this, that we are celebrating the birth of our Lord Jesus. Therefore, every Christmas, every Christmas that we, we celebrate Christmas, we must give room for the birth of Jesus. We must give room for that Christ that is born on that day. Amen? My dear friends, let me tell you this. It's not all about Santa Claus. It's not even all about you. It's not all about the gift that we can give to somebody else to our loved ones. It's all about the birth of our Lord Jesus. Therefore, every time that we, we celebrate Christmas, we must allow the celebrant to be the main man. We must allow that the celebrant will be the center of attraction and that is Jesus. He is the one promised by God that salvation can be found through Him. Amen. So that is the greatest gift that we can receive. It's Jesus. So my dear friends, I am inviting each and every one of you that we continue to meditate and understand what's going on around the world today. The world try to mislead us to misguide us and try try to 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 take Jesus off in Christmas but let me remind you this again once more that when you write merry christmas i suggest don't you ever ever write merry xmas remember this without christ there is no christmas
you cannot substitute Christ with something else or with somebody else because he is the only one he is the Messiah he is the Savior he is the Redeemer my dear friends God said God said that no matter what color we are no matter what where we came from the moment we accept Jesus as our personal Lord and Savior he will reveal himself to us now my dear friends Jesus said, uh, just like what's written in, in John chapter 3, For God so loved the world. The world, everything in the world God loves. How can we respond to His love? By accepting Jesus. Because He is the promised one. We cannot go to the Father except through Jesus. Jesus said, I will never leave you nor forsake you and god said i alone knows the plan the plan to prosper us and not to harm us therefore if you want to receive the greatest gift of all time the greatest gift is jesus he is the savior he is the main man he is the redeemer he is the only one he is the Messiah. No matter what color you are, no matter where you came from, no matter what you did before, God said, the Bible said that He is faithful and just. He'll not just forgive us, but also cleanse us. My dear friends, the greatest gift is in you already. Receive Jesus in your life and He will guide you, He will teach you, and He'll bless you more than you can ever think of. God bless you.